Hey guys, in today's video, I want to share with you five tips that you can start doing right now to grow your photography business within the next 12 weeks. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Heather and I'm from thebookphotographer.com. Every single Tuesday, I put out videos like this to help photographers like you confidently attract their ideal clients and book them consistently. So if you're brand new in the industry or if you've been around for a while, if you are wanting to become fully booked, definitely hit that subscribe button below. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the good stuff. I really want to share with you five tips that you can start doing right now that will have a massive impact in your business within 12 weeks. Tip number one is to make one sacrifice. Now, this could be as simple as waking up 30 minutes earlier, or maybe it's not looking at Facebook in the morning hours, or maybe it's giving up TV on weeknights. The point is here is to make one sacrifice with your time and then use that time to work on your photography business. Do something that moves your business forward. What we choose to do here is going to look different for all of us. We are all at different points in the journey and that's totally okay. Each season requires a different set of actions. But here's the thing that I want to get across. I'm not asking you to make a million and one sacrifices all at once. That would be totally overwhelming and way too daunting. What I'm asking you to do is to simply make one sacrifice for the next 12 weeks. Just one, it's as simple as that. Let's go ahead and take the example of waking up 30 minutes earlier every single day. If you did that consistently over the next 12 weeks, that would add up to 30 precious hours that you could be working on in your business, growing it over the course of 12 weeks. And what sort of things could you actually accomplish in that time? How could you move your business forward if you had 30 hours to work in your business? So ask yourself, what is one thing that you can let go of, one thing that you can sacrifice so that you can get better results in your business? What's the one thing that you're willing to sacrifice in this season to move your business and your life forward? Okay, so let's move on to tip number two, which is to build one key relationship over the course of the next 12 weeks. Now, chances are that you're probably already networking. Maybe you already have a core group of beneficial relationships, but I'm going to challenge you to take a step out of your comfort zone and to put more time and attention into building just one key relationship. Now, you might have already thought of somebody that you could reach out to and build that relationship over the course of the next couple of weeks, but if not, let's go ahead and talk about some possibilities. Who can you network with in your local area that would help move your business forward? Maybe it's a coordinator at a wedding venue that you would love to photograph more weddings at. Maybe it's a wedding planner, or maybe it's a hair and makeup artist, or maybe it's the owner of a boutique clothing store that you would like to partner with. The point here is to pick just one relationship and focus on building that one key relationship over the course of the next 12 weeks, and you'll see your business start to grow. When you think of that one person that you want to build that relationship with, simply reach out to them. Ask them if they want to go get coffee. Start to get to know them. Why do you want to do this? Well, really, it's because every single opportunity that you will ever have comes through people. So take time to get to know people. It's okay to start small here. Just think of one person and focus on building that one key relationship, and then you can grow from there. So let's move on to tip number three to grow your photography business within the next 12 weeks, and that is to try one thing new. Now, this could be any sort of thing. It could be maybe Facebook ads. Maybe you try that for the first time. Maybe you try email marketing, or maybe you try blogging, or maybe you try a different photography or lighting technique, or maybe it's photographing a genre that you've never photographed before, or maybe your one new thing could be trying to do a Facebook Live, which by the way, I've already recorded a video for you about using Facebook Live, so if you wanna catch that one on how to do your first Facebook Live, I'm gonna link that in the description box below, so you can watch that after this video. But my point here, 
here is to pick one new thing that you can start trying over the course of the next 12 weeks. Realize that if you want different results in your business, you're going to have to do different things. So think about it. What's one new thing that you could start trying over the course of the next 12 weeks that would have a big impact in your business? Now we're moving on to tip number four to grow your photography business within the next 12 weeks. Tip number four is to make one investment in your business. Again, the possibilities are endless here. You have a ton of options. You can choose to make an investment in camera gear or lighting or lenses or laptops or you know presets or you could choose to invest in yourself. Maybe you go to a local photography conference or a marketing workshop, or maybe you decide to join me inside my online program and you get that support and accountability. I'm sure you can think of some sort of problem areas that you're having in your business. So that area might need a little bit of TLC. So what is one investment that you can make that would help solve that problem in your business? And finally, we have tip number five, which is to do one thing that makes you feel uncomfortable. Growth is uncomfortable. Success doesn't come from staying in your little safe zone and not moving forward. Success is actually just on the other side of your comfort zone. So you have to step out. You have to be willing to move forward, even if you don't know how things will actually turn out. You need to be willing to be uncomfortable and willing to try something new to get the success that you want. Now, maybe the one thing that makes you feel uncomfortable is something that I've already mentioned. Maybe it's doing that Facebook Live or investing in yourself. Maybe that's the thing that makes you uncomfortable. Uh, maybe it's even raising your prices because you know you're not valuing yourself as much as you should. The bottom line is, is that you, know, you have to do things that make you feel uncomfortable. Do it scared, do it nervous, do it afraid, just do it because growth is on the other side of your comfort zone. Now I really want to hear from you. Go ahead and tell me in the comment section below, what is the one new sacrifice that you're gonna make over the next 12 weeks? What is the one key relationship that you're gonna be building over the next 12 weeks? What is the one new thing that you are going to try over the next 12 weeks? What is the one new investment that you are going to make over the course of the next 12 weeks? And finally, what is the one thing that you are gonna to commit to doing even if it makes you feel uncomfortable over the course of the next 12 weeks? And I can guarantee you if you commit to doing these things diligently, you will see a massive results in your business. If you like this video, go ahead and let me know by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you later.